the tape for this, our main event of the evening. The champion is 37. The challenger is 35. The champion will have the reach advantage with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission with Chairman Skip Avancino, Executive Director Keith Kazar, Commissioners Francisco Aguilar, Bill Brady, TJ Day, and Pat Lundball. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon Side are Chris Lee, Patricia Morse Jarman, and Junichiro Camillo. Lead physician, Dr. Anthony Ruggiroli. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. From the sold out MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> record 28 wins 11 losses and one draw he stands six feet one inch tall weighing in at 185 pounds fighting out of westland oregon ladies and gentlemen presenting the challenger Chael and now introducing the champion fighting out of the red corner this man is a kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record 29 wins, four losses. He stands six feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Anderson, the Spider. Come over here, please. This is Solomon. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch that, do it now. Go back to your corner. Yeah. You need the towel now. You need the towel. If, if they're gonna touch Woo. in a second, Chael Sonnen wipe him off. Anderson Silva. Anderson wiped Vaseline from his face with his fingertips on his arms and chest, and Eve Levine just wiped that off. Once again, we are underway. There's that power double. Take down by Sonnen. Five seconds into this fight. Man. Chael Sonnen was all over Anderson Silva in round one in the first fight. Anderson's doing a good job of covering up here, controlling the posture of Chael Sonnen. In fact, he landed more significant strikes against Anderson Silva in round one of the first fight than any UFC opponent had in an entire fight. Anderson's tying up the left arm with a strong overhook. Now he switches to the right arm. Doing a good job of avoiding ground and pound here. And Chael is slowly working him up against the cage. Anderson's also doing a good job of using his butterflies to stretch out the legs of Chael and put him in awkward angles. Now he's got feet on the hips, and Chael's trying to pass. The cage is in his way. Anderson stops in his tracks. Now he's in half guard. Now we will see if Chael Sonnen attempts this time to submit Anderson Silva instead of just ground and pound. As I said, he brought in Jiu-Jitsu world champion Vinny Magalhaes into his corner, into his camp, to help him prepare for this fight. We saw how good his submission skills were against Brian Stan. Just boxing the side of the head of Anderson Silva, a technique he used in the first fight. He's still stuck inside the half guard. 
Anderson controlling the posture very well. Michael's trying to get that leg free. He's trying to step over the feet of Anderson. You see, Anderson uses that pulled back foot, that hook, to hold the shin bone and keep Chael Sonnen's leg in place. Can Anderson neutralize him enough to force a stand-up? Knees to the body now by Chael, but they probably don't have too much steam on him because of the fact that his other leg is locked into position. Be careful, with you. Anderson taken down somewhat easily early. Go, guys. Is this Anderson's way of telling Chael, all right, throw your best at me? All right, now he turns his back to Anderson and holding on to an arm. Chael's got to work on passing that guard. Big punch from the top. Anderson looking to advance his own legs. Good wrist control. Chael still stuck in that half guard, though. He's been in top position for the majority of this first shots, round. Mike. Those were hard punches. That's the first time he got a free arm and really rained down some good shots. Left leg again, still caught inside the half guard. He's pulling his own foot closer to avoid the hook. Go, guys, work! Under 90 seconds here in the first of a potential five. Posture controlled again by the champion. Well, the real key to this, Mike, is that half guard that he keeps bringing Chael's leg up and holding it and keeping Chael from advancing. Silva pointing at his head, saying nothing. Again, Chael still stuck inside that half guard. There, there he got him. It. He's got time, too, Joe. 45 seconds to work. Be careful with your finger. He's dropping his chest down on him, but unable to land some significant strikes. He Try. has the mount, but has not thrown more than two or three strikes or done any damage. And he has not looked for a submission either. Those arms are outstretched. Ten seconds. Still a dominant round for the champion. Excuse me, the challenger, Chael Sonnen. Round one to Sonnen again. Breathe, breathe. Now you're warmed up. Let's start the fight now. Now we're starting the fight. Pay attention. He hasn't done anything. He has no chance of winning. Whenever he comes in, you gotta meet him with a knee. And you gotta faint a little bit more. Trust in your defend your takedown. And there is the takedown. Beautifully executed by Chael Sonnen. Spent the majority of the round inside the guard, but eventually progressed to mount. That takedown came six seconds into the fight. Again, Sonnen pushes forward. The hold of shorts! He said it amongst many things. I'm going to put my head in his chest. I'm going to put him on his back. Look at this. Anderson has a hold of Chael's leg here. Solid knees by Sonnen here, but... Go, guys, work! 
Nothing really damaging. Drops down. Anderson trying to defend. The good old fashioned American wrestler. Good defense by Anderson. Looking to take Separation. the fight to the champion. Separation by Anderson. Oh, Silva trying to tee off now. Look at that. Chael will give him no space, Joe. And now Anderson starting to throw the strikes. Can he avoid getting taken down? So far. Wow, good takedown defense by Silva. And that, that was could something be an early turning see. point. That is an early turning point in this fight. That's a knee. Was that a knee to the face? Yes, it was. That could be deemed a knee to a downed opponent. But the action continues. Anderson. Big right hand. Looking to finish the fight. Chow's in trouble. It is all over. Anderson Silva remains the UFC middleweight champion. Let's take a look at that knee and see where that landed. And Chael tried a three, she tried a spinning back fist. He slipped. Nope, that's to the body. Yep. That's a leap, that's a legit technique. top of him and finished him off. It was a body shot that did him in. A brilliant job by the champion. All of that preceded by incredible takedown defense from the champion. Anderson Silva earns the victory in the biggest fight in UFC history. Fifteen and zero, eleven and zero in championship fights. Ten and zero since he first won the belt. And here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute fifty-five seconds of round number two. Declare the winner by TKO. Fight up!